Welcome to the 2017 National Healthcare Safety Network, or NHSN, Quick Learn series. These CDC presentations are an educational resource for healthcare facilities working to prevent healthcare associated infections, or HAIs. This presentation reviews the Surgical Site Infection, or SSI, event form. PATOs, or infection present at the time of surgery, is a required field on the SSI event form. In this session, we will answer some of the most frequently asked questions related to how to complete the PATOs field. The patient does not have to meet the NHSN definition of an SSI at the time of the primary procedure, but there must be evidence of an infection or abscess present at the time of surgery. One question frequently asked is, if I find an infection that meets criteria for a PATOS SSI, do I have to report it as an SSI event? The answer is yes. SSI events with the PATOS field marked as yes are reported if they are attributable to an operative procedure that the facility is following in its reporting plan. Another question is, if a patient has infection present at the time of surgery, does that mean that any subsequent SSI will automatically be PATOS equals yes? The answer is no. The PATOS field should only be marked yes when it applies to an SSI event that is at the same level as the infection that was present at the time of surgery. For example, if a patient had an intra-abdominal infection at the time of surgery and then later returns in the surveillance period with an organ space SSI, the PATOS field would be yes. However, if the patient returns with a superficial or deep incisional SSI, the PATOS field would be no. Here are two other frequently asked questions. Using the 2006 to 2008 baseline data, are SSI events with PATOS marked yes included in the standardized infection ratio, or SIR? And for colo and hist procedures, are these SSI PATOS events reported to CMS? All SSIs reported as present at time of surgery are included in the SIR if the wound closure method is noted as a primary closure. Procedures with closure methods other than primary are not included in SIR analysis. All colo and hist procedures, which are primary closures, and their associated SSI events are reported to CMS. Another question is, using the new 2015 baseline data, Will SSIs reported as PATOs be excluded from the SSI SIRs? Also, for colo and hist procedures, are these SSI events reported to CMS? SSI events reported as PATOs are excluded from the numerator of all the SSI SIR reports under the new 2015 baseline. The procedures associated with the PATOs events are also excluded from the denominator of all the SSI SIR reports. Although PATOS events are excluded from the SIR calculations, they must still be reported per NHSN protocol. Users can still analyze their PATOS data using frequency and line list reports. SSIs identified as PATOS are not reported to CMS under the new 2015 baseline. Here are some examples of what would and would not be a PATOS equals yes on an SSI event. First, what can be a PATOS? PATOS means that there's evidence of an infection or abscess at the start of or during the index surgical procedure. In other words, it's present preoperatively. For PATOS, you do not need to meet SSI infection definitions. Some examples of PATOS include abscess, infection in the OR note, purulence or pus, septic or feculent peritonitis, or a ruptured appendix. There are some exceptions to PATOS. PATOS is not diagnosis-driven. For example, diverticulitis, peritonitis, or appendicitis alone does not always mean there was a PATOS infection. There must also be evidence of infection in the organ space. Here's some guidance regarding what is not a PATOS. If the only finding is an organism from a culture obtained in the OR or on a pathology report from a surgical specimen, it is not a PATOS. However, if the culture was taken from an abscess or pus, this is a PATOS equals yes for a subsequent SSI at that same level. 
If a rupture or perforation of the colon has occurred, but there's no evidence of infection, this would not be a patos. Fecal spillage or a nicked bowel during procedure would also not be a patos. This is a complication, but there was no infection caused by this at the time of surgery. Inflammation, necrosis, or gangrene alone is not a patos. Fresh traumas that are contaminated cases do not necessarily meet patos. For example, a fresh gunshot wound to the abdomen is an emergency. It's a trauma case with a high wound class, but it would not have had time for infection to develop. You can find more details in the patos section of the 2017 SSI protocol. For more information, visit cdc.gov slash nhsn. You can email questions to nhsn at cdc.gov.